Hi Aquarius, this is your horoscope for March 2017. Thanks for joining me. Now in March, Jupiter and Pluto, they square each other for the duration of the month. Jupiter is the lucky planet of success and good fortune and that is in Libra in your ninth house. So immediately you're very focused on expanding and broadening your horizons and being very teachable and focused on learning. Now a square is when two planets are 90 degrees apart and Pluto is in Capricorn in your 12th house. So there's the potential to really change the way you see yourself and the way you feel about your place in the world and in life. And it's kind of the chicken and the egg situation. It's because you're learning and you're broadening your horizons that your perception of yourself alters, or it could be because your perception of yourself is altering that you're really reaching out and learning these different types of spiritual techniques or these intellectual or academic pieces of information which really then alter who you are as an individual. So either way, the big luck factor here is you being teachable and really being at the top of your game when it comes to your ideas and learning and your mind and being able to implement those ideas to really affect a change, a positive effect and a positive change within yourself. So for instance, that could be meditation, you know, that really helps you to um, maintain a much more constructive frame of mind. Or it could be an academic discipline that really helps you in terms of your career and helps you get the promotion that you want. Now, from the 20th of February until the 10th of March, the Sun and Neptune have been conjunct and Pisces, and they've been doing that in your second house. So you will have noticed that the last few weeks have felt overly emotional, overly emotional and you felt overly emotional when it comes to your performance in terms of your career and in terms of money. And things that you thought you had dealt with may have cropped up again. Disappointments that you thought you had put to bed may have reappeared. You may have felt very emotional when it comes to your situation in life and what you've achieved. So that comes to an end on the 10th of March. Remember that at the same time that you've got Jupiter and Pluto really helping you to achieve something in future. So you've got a choice here, all of that Pisces energy, Pisces being very much about the past anyway and what has already happened. So there may be a part of you which feels like, oh my God, I had so much potential and I didn't achieve what I wanted to achieve in life. And I feel like such a loser. And th I mean, that's not positive, is it? And then on the other hand, you've got this energy which really says the world's your oyster, you can learn whatever it is you want and you can really see yourself a different way. So it's really important that you focus um, at what can be done and you look to the future and that will become much easier for you on the 10th of March onwards. Now from the 4th of March until the 14th of April, Venus, the personal planet of love, beauty and creativity, that goes into retrograde. And when it's in retrograde, it's not a good time to have a wedding, to launch a new business or to start any venture that you absolutely love and care about. What it is good for is to end situations which have had a hold on you and which you've been able, unable to kind of get yourself out of. Okay, so a relationship, for instance, that's really negative, but you keep going back. Venus retrograde will help you be done with that. But it's in your third house of ideas and communication. And this Venus retrograde will help you, Aquarius, to let go of faulty beliefs that you've adopted about yourself. Like, I'm a loser. I didn't meet my potential. My parents did so much for me and look at where I've ended up. That kind of thinking is not helpful because Venus retrogrades in your third house. Those kind of beliefs can be dumped and let go of once and for all. So really make sure you do that and because nature does not like a vacuum. And if you've been carrying around those kind of negative beliefs for a while, it will have prevented you from learning new things and moving on with your life. Now that you can let go of these during the 4th of March until the 14th of April, you'll be able to replace them with positive beliefs, new ideas, broadening your horizons, and then you can actually change your life in a physical sense. On the 12th of March, the full moon occurs in Virgo and that happens in your eighth house. So there may be some good news via uh, the people in your life and institution in your life. There may be an opportunity that comes via other people to you around this time of the month. Could also be the 11th or the 13th. It's not exact depending on where you are in the world. 
Um, on the 21st of March through until the 1st of April, Uranus and Mercury begin to conjunct, so they sit together in your third house. Uh, this is wonderful because now you've let go of the negative energy, you've done the detoxing, which has come to a close on the 10th of March. So really make sure you feel those negative feelings and let go of them. Make a list. I am not successful because, and then list it, and then see it for what it is and get rid of it, dump it. Mer Mercury and Uranus here, at the end of the month coming together, really gives you a huge sense of encouragement and um, enthusiasm about making a fresh start. So this is the first day of the rest of your life. Okay, you really have the opportunity to start a whole new chapter of your life or to really live a completely different life altogether. And that's really possible. We can live several lifetimes in one lifetime. You know, a lot of people who have addiction problems have 20, 40 years of slavery and hell. And then when they come out of it, for whatever reason, that they have that awakening moment, which some people never have, and then they live a whole different life. And you really are able to detox negative beliefs which have kept you trapped, and you're able to start fresh. That energy strengthens as the month concludes. The new moon happens on the 28th of March. It's in Aries, and it's also in your third house of communication. So that's really what you're being asked to take power and um, take charge of. Your own ideas, your own thinking, and the way you see yourself in the world. And how that's going to change. So that it's more compatible with who you really are and that you, so that you can be happier in terms of what you're actually doing rather than guilting yourself of, or beating yourself up. So that's what I see coming up for you in March. If you would like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. We, if you want to have a look at what your vocational aptitudes are or what your life purpose is, what's coming up for you in 2017 in regards to career, money, relationship, romance, health, family, anything at all gregoryscott.com, click on the readings tab to order your reading. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll speak to you next month.